Hello, hey viewers, hey viewers, who reviews? Today I Ghostbusters, the original movie, and I'm guessing there are a lot of videos to talk about the three movies, the shows, and I don't know about the uh, video game, but mm, I'd like to give my uh, two cents. Uh, let's say the acting is, is very good. Then the characters of uh, Peter, Ray, Egon, and Winston was a uh, uh, great. I think uh, Egon, Ray, Ray, and Peter was a uh, uh, the bounce. I'm sure very good with the uh, Egon being this scientific skeptical one, or was the logical one, and Peter. Just being the mouth of the team and not really uh, caring about the science or how rich it's gonna make they're gonna be. Uh, I think Ray is really good as soul of the team. He gets more excited about the unknown and that. Uh, and I think with the second one, they made him the optimist uh, of uh, the one that you know, has more hope or don't really think that much about the bad stuff. Op optimist, I think it's that is word, but. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if they ever took care of that that ghost in the library. Like in I think in the, in this sorry like they didn't really show, but they showed that the Slimer was the first ghost that they had caught as a team. And the team with Dana, they kind of went, went back on what Peter did. And I think he did really uh, care about her since. Uh, the f in the first scene they saw, they, he was kind of hitting on the on a grass soon to uh, doing a one of the, one of the psychic studies. But with the Dana, I think uh, he genuinely uh, like cared and does a uh, liked her even uh, when uh, she was possessed by Z the Zool dog. He kept asking to to talk to her. So. Hmm. And I do kind of wish that Winston more, and I'm kind of peeped in the Amid series, the real Ghostbusters, also known as the or the Slimer and real Ghostbusters. Just have Winston as the driver, and I'm doing that much, but. Mm. And, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, Janine, it's good. It's good. And it's just pine after a. Uh, er, Egon, and a. I don't know if it makes sense in the second one that she uh, and uh, Lewis are get are kind of get together or she starts liking Lewis for some reason. Maybe she saw that he only worked in Psycho for Lewis or something, but I think it was a bit better than what they did in the anime series how to make a deal with a ghost and change her personality that might make uh, Winston attracted to her or something. I don't know if uh, Egon. Hmm. And uh, now, well, uh, Walter Peck. Yeah, he seems like a stuffy businessman in a suit. I uh, just getting just uh, doing uh, the whole sundown thing because he's probably just peeved that Peter made fun of him and that. Well, also he said it has been proven right. They it is it their their uh, business is illegal and. Yeah, I don't think he soon have. I don't think he still have a uh, turn off the the thing where they're storing or sending all the ghosts to. In the anime series, it sounds like they're sent to the say ghosts uh, realm sort of place, but hmm. Uh, they connect the montage they show to the to their uh, team song. It does uh very good and all the music is great as well and just the rhyme by uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd and the I think Egon's character I forget the name right now but it, it's very good and uh, does have uh, Lewis be uh, possessed by uh, uh, the, the key maker or whatever was like uh, I don't know if that, that, that's actually needed, it could have been that anyone 
I think it's the same thing Lewis would say that type of person does try and be friends with neighbors because he has no other friends, but it's kind of lonely and just make doesn't really make friends with, uh, with people he uh, works for because he's like an accountant or something. But I don't know. And uh, yeah, the accent with this as the sticks that's connected to the photon pack. I think they're called. I haven't really seen the 2016 Ghostbusters, but what I heard about the action parts is probably better than uh, this and the second one, but hmm. Uh, they could have, do, you like, do you like the scene when they're in uh, jail and they're just uh, explaining what's gonna happen and See like all the prisoners there are interested. And uh, this movie is just very quotable. And uh, this one is too. I think this one probably has more quotes in it than that, but hmm. And uh What else what else? Uh Bill Murray is that funny as always, since he acts like a jerk. Well, I think a lot of the characters are actually like a jerk to each other, but it's like a f the funny uh, type of jerks, but mm. um, I think that some people probably do watch this over Halloween since it'll have ghosts in it, but mm. um, yeah, let's say uh, the tech one's kind of a mixed bag for me, and I do hate some of the stuff in it, like, they're sued for what the Marshmallow Man uh, destroyed, even though they're not, they're not technically the ones that brought the Marshmallow Man to New York, and then set a few years after, and the, and the peer, peer, peer breaks up with the Diane, or Diane, D Diane, Dana, or Diana breaks with him, and as Kevin or person. Yeah, like, I have to agree with what Sakurik said to in his review of Ghostbusters 2. It's so sad the movie while, like, during the first uh, court case against them. And then this other stuff he said. That would have been more interesting and that's a way better way of, of uh, starting the movie. But. Yeah, what can I say? This is entertaining and the second movie is entertaining. I don't know if I'll review it next year or what, but I will be reviewing the new uh, Go Butchers movie that's coming out in November, so look up for that. And yeah, this is a pretty good movie. As I said, it's quotable. Great music, great acting, great uh, some great writing. And might be uh, too adult for some kids or just some too mature for some kids or whatever, but so good. And until next time, I see you guys later.